Hello, I am Ashkar Rahman. Welcome to this video. In this video, I will discuss about what is conversion in uh, especially marketing, then also in Facebook ads and um, how you can do that and why it is important. So uh, at first, let's talk about conversion and then I will show you the uh, add to cart conversion event tracking and send this data to Facebook pixel uh, Facebook event manager. So at first, let's check. So conversion is basically any action that is taken by user on a website so if i visit a website and go to this page this product page and take any kind of action like uh, add to cart so if i uh, click this uh, button then a conversion event will fire so uh, what is um, firing tag or everything this is a google tag manager term i will show you in the in that so at first so so here i i have taken a, a uh, action an action that is called uh, add to cart click so whenever i clicked this a conversion event fired so um, uh, if i visit this uh, cart button uh, click mm, yeah so now proceed to checkout so i have taken an action and came to this checkout page so that means this is a conversion here you can see initiate checkout that means this is a um, uh, conversion event so uh, and also you can see here another um, uh, timer event fired so that means if i spend uh, a, any uh, um, time like 30 second or 15 second that means uh, a conversion event uh, of 30 second will fire so uh, we can decide uh, how the conversion uh, will look like so if i scroll down then there will be also conversion event there is lots of conversion uh, event that is called a scroll so a scroll event are uh, set up that if i uh, uh, scroll 70 percent of this website then a conversion event will fire so this is how we can um, decide whenever a customer visit your website and you just uh, set up the, this kind of uh, event then you will uh, get this information in your uh, uh, event manager so why is this important here you can see a scroll event 15 second 13 second initiate checkout why is this important this is important uh, because uh, you need to retarget uh, your audience it is a, a powerful uh, marketing strategy then you will get good results so whenever people take action and you just track their uh, activity and uh, retarget this audience then you will get good result and uh, it is a proven uh, matrix so let's go to google tag manager what we will do today today we will uh, uh, set up a conversion event that is called add to cart so whenever people visit any kind of product page and click this add to cart button then they will uh, the, it will fire an event and this event will be sent to uh, this tag, uh, event manager so uh, you, if you don't know how to set up google tag manager how to set up facebook pixel uh, every basic thing you can uh, visit my channel i have created a, a tutorial about this uh, specific uh, topic so that you can learn from there so in this video i will show you how to track add to cart so for that we have to create a trigger before creating a trigger let's preview this and put our website address so now here we can see our website loaded let's go and to any product page so to get the uh, information about a event, an event we have to enable data layer in our website so this is a wordpress website and i enabled data layer i also created a tutorial how to enable data layer in your website so for that you have to check uh, my previous tutorial so now if i click add to cart what happens here a add to cart uh, event just fired in uh, in the uh, data layer or you can say in the yes in the data layer and this is the uh, event just fired and 
we we will use this information to set up our trigger so what is trigger the, the trigger is whenever we take any kind of action and we set this action as a um, as, as a matrix that you will fire uh, we tell we just tell google tag manager that you will fire a trigger whenever people do this thing in our website so i set a trigger that at uh, whenever people click add to card you will fire a trigger that is a function that is uh, the only thing then after this uh, uh, trigger fire we will use this information to send uh, use a or sorry create a tag and uh, send this data to facebook pixel or uh, google analytics or any kind of um, uh, place like google ads <coughs> or tiktok pixel or uh, pinterest pixel any kind of place we can send this data so let's fire uh, create this trigger this is called add to cut trigger click new click trigger configuration then where the trigger information came from this came from data layer so whenever we go to data layer we can see this event we got from data layer so for that we have to copy this and here we have to select data layer sorry sorry my mistake custom event so the, uh, this a uh, this event happened in the data layer so we got this from there and just copy the event name so whenever uh, google tag manager find this event from uh, in the data layer they will fire a trigger that's it they will get this information from this data layer so click save add to cart event for a facebook fb click save now we have to uh, create a tri uh, tag we have created just trigger so click new tag configuration find facebook pixel so this is a tag template we uh, created this earlier you can find this from the gallery if you uh, go to this discover more types in the community template gallery then so you can find uh, from here just uh, search facebook pixel you have to add this so i already added this so now we have to provide our facebook pixel id so i have created a variable so i have to find this fb pixel id so every kind of tutorial uh, you can see in my uh, channel triggering so we just created this trigger so we have to select this and for now i i am not sending any kind of uh, user data or uh, parameter here you can see many kind of parameter like uh, product id then name category price we can send this so uh, if uh, it is it will be very complicated so i currently i am not sending this data i am just sending the uh, event data or event facebook pixel add to cart event <coughs> sorry perfect we have done now click submit nothing to do here so now let's close this and do it again click preview we have to clear this activity and do it from again now click connect I made a small mistake a Facebook visual act to cut event so here I forget to select this add to cut a standard add to cut we have to select this add to cut Facebook will consider this as a add to cut event so we have to do it again yeah now click preview click connect
let's go to a product page you can see all these things here now let's click add to cart so we will not be able to see this because the page reloads so here we can see this here we can see facebook pixel add to cart event fired and in the event manager we can see that add to cart event fired so we didn't send any data or uh, like this view content we didn't say send this parameter let's uh, show you so that is why it is not showing here so i will have a complete in-depth tutorial full tutorial about all the facebook pixel tracking video so in this video you can see all the uh, things like how to send data how to um, how to track your uh, inform uh, user information and send this information to uh, Facebook and everything so for now you, you can uh, you just learned how to set up at to event so that's all so to get the big tutorial about my Facebook pixel complete e-commerce tracking tutorial you need to subscribe my channel to get the update thank you very much I will see you in the later videos